There's four buckets of flint in this load here. Okay, we got down into some more greens, and uh, you can see now this has got a lot of the, the reds and the perp, the blues. Then the greens you can see are right under this uh, where it was layered together. That's where the green mostly is, right under that surface. So when you flake that surface off and take one flake off of there, you're going to lose all that green. It'll be a red and blue arrowhead. Now, take a flake off of the red and blue side, and you can see that it, even if the green might be gone, that will be pretty nice flint. And here's another interesting one. It looks like it's uh, like tan, maybe tints of green, especially when you when I flip it, it does. Then I'll show you what it looks like once you flake it off there. Or try to flake it off. That's what's inside. We got white, and then it goes to green inside. That's a pretty rare piece, really. That's, that's a keeper. <laughs> so the, oh, this is one that's a big piece. It has a crystal there, and it does not look like it has any green, but and most likely it does have green somewhere. I'm not not sure where I'll find it. Uh, the one thing about the orange is a lot of times this is green, and as you get beyond 450 degrees, it'll start turning orange. So you get about 550 degrees, you're not going to have no green. It'll be orange instead of green. I took the green right out of it a lot of times. And that seems to be one of them that might not have the green, but it's orange. But it's still pretty slick flint. There's a good lapidary rock it has the purples and all kinds, and it'll have green that one. Put it over here too. Then I got even got. This is a good, real good piece. It does not maybe it does not have a lot of pattern in the middle here, but it has it at the side, and you can see the tints of green, which will be green underneath. Let me show it a little bit of it. So how much green is right under that surface? And this will go deeper into the rock too. There's another one that has the blues, reds, orange, green. Got the spots. I'll flake a little off of that. There's a lot of blues or green. Here's an orange one. We'll see if it has any green in it. Sometimes, like I said, I'll cook the green right out of it. It seems that's the case on this one. A lot of times you get down in it far enough, it, it'll still have a little green on the very inside. But that one does not. Now I get more, you know, uh, lightning bolts and things in some of them, and there's some green on this end. And it's even the white ones like this here, you'll see uh, greens in inside. They're completely white, but they'll be green. Kind of unusual. Real high grade of flint.
Okay, we're getting down to the bottom of the hill. And I stuck a couple of pieces in here that were, and this one actually broke off of there from the heat. I don't know, it had a little quartz or something. This is one that uh, is a soluble rock, and it'll have green under that surface there. And since this came off, I'll give you an idea of what where the green is at in this one. Pretty, you kind of see it too. So it just you can see it's just loaded with green. Look at that. And a green rock. That's base pretty much all green, solid green. Even although it does have some red that will be scattered in through it. That'll be a pretty decent rock, and this whole thing will be. And the reason I put it in there is I thought it was too churdy, and it seems to be just right. See that green, and it's just right. Now that green at that end, yeah, a little olive green, but it'll get better as it goes up in through there. Okay, that's a saw block. Then there's a couple others down here. Here's a pretty interesting piece. You can see the patterns, uh, orange, blues, and even whites, and that might be green instead of white. But I'll flake a little off it to see if it does show any. No, it doesn't show no green at that point, but there it is. Now that's pretty decent rock. And actually, they're so rare that I get them, I do not get many like that. Then there's one more here, and I'm not sure what it is about, but it looks like one of those that I cooked all the green out of, but it may have a little green in here somewhere. Sure enough. The, and that, that's a big solvable rock, too. Kind of an odd-shaped one, but it... It should be slab. So 